I'm Georgie. And we're the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. <laughs> so we're making our second Instant Pot recipe. We're so excited with our appliance. We're, I feel like we're a little late in getting to it, but it's wonderful. And we're going to make this great recipe today and bring it to a potluck right after it gets cooked. So yes. Georgie, what are we making? Sweet potato garbanzo bean green stew. And those are wonderful <laughs> ingredients to eat, right? They're just so healthy. So here's an idea for you though. Of course you can eat this wonderful stew for lunch or dinner, but maybe you wanna follow the advice of Dr. Linda Carney. She's a medical doctor, whole food plant-based in Texas, mm -hmm. and she actually advises her patients to eat like she does in the morning, which is she likes to eat beans, greens, squash, and yams. Now this recipe has all of that except for the squash. And so why does Dr. Carney like to eat like this in the morning, all this food? Because she says, because there's so much fiber in this food and starch, it will keep her full for hours and hours you know, while she's seeing patients and she doesn't have time to just run and, and she doesn't want to keep snacking. Yeah. So she eats a great breakfast. And you know, when you eat food like this, you know, you're not going to get that blood sugar spike with the insulin, uh, you know, going and going up and down. You're going to just have good, even digestion because the food has, like I said, so much fiber and, and starch. It's a slow th digestion for you, keeping you full, you know, for hours and hours. So if you want, Follow Dr. Carney's advice and also go ahead and look at her website. She's got great stuff on there and we want to, you know, let you know that some of our videos are on her site. They, Thank you. She's very nice and willing to share <laughs> our videos, so we're excited about that. And uh, so, but we have a little bit of a disagreement today about the sweet potatoes in this recipe. So, Georgie, you want to tell well, what that is? Denise thinks and it's true about the nutrients and the peel. However, I peeled them for color in this dish. If I would have left the peels on, there would have been a lot of brown over the orange. So that's what I was after was the eye appeal, the candy, the eye candy, if you say. Yeah, so you know, because he's taking it to a potluck and some of the people at the potluck are not plant-based eaters and he wanted mm -hmm. to make a good impression. He also said, well, you know, some of them, they may not be used to eating the peel on the sweet potato. Exactly. So he decided to peel it. But you know, if it was me, I'm always going for my maximum nutrition, so I would have left, because we did buy organic sweet potatoes, so I would have left the peel on, you know, and just scrubbed them. So anyways, you can decide what you want to do about that. And pay attention during the video, you'll see the eye appeal I'm talking about. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. true. Now, mm -hmm. there's, Georgie wants to tell you about another thing, because in this recipe, we decided not to use canned garbanzo beans and to make them fresh in our Instant Pot from the dried bean. One great reason is that you'll save a little bit of money because it's yeah. always going to be cheaper to buy the, the, the dry than the ones that are already canned. Mm -hmm. So Georgie's just going to give you a quick uh, lesson on how he made the garbanzo beans before he puts th this recipe together. I put three cups of garbanzo beans in the Instant Pot. I filled the water three inches above the garbanzo beans, the dried garbanzo beans that I put in there. And of course you rinse them before you do this. You put the lid on, the, set it for 35 minutes on high pressure and walk away. An hour later, they're done. It's that quick and easy. Yes, it's, so. it's one of the greatest things. So we're ready to get going to the recipe. Re we're ready. And wait till you see how beautiful it's going to look in the pot when you have yes. everything in there. I'm sure it's going to look just gorgeous with all these different colors. All right? All right. Let's, all right. Let's do it. Off to cooking. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's get started on the sweet potato garbanzo bean greens stew that we've come up with. It's great. First off, we're going to come over here. We're going to show you all the ingredients that I have. Okay. First off, I'm going to have garbanzo beans, sweet potatoes, vegetable broth, red onion, celery, yellow onion, carrot, cracked black pepper, curry powder, peanut butter, garlic, two cans of diced tomatoes, and coconut milk. And I'm gonna have greens to be putting in it, four different types of greens. First of all, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to cut up the uh, sweet potato. If it's okay, I'll show you. I already did one. 
and I want to I don't want to make them too small I want one inch by one inch pieces otherwise it'll cook over it'll cook way too much so I'm just gonna slice it like that one inch pieces just like that okay another one You cook them if you make them too small they'll cook away to nothing you don't want to have just a bunch of mush okay there's our sweet potatoes okay our celery I've already cleaned it and cut the ends of it off I don't want them too thick so I take and I slice it down the center like that you can make different shapes with these. You can just do a straight cut like that, or you can do them at an angle. I like doing them at an angle. It, gives it, it makes it a little bit cuter. <laughs> okay, the red onions, I've already sliced it. Next is going to be my yellow onion. I've got to take the skin off. First thing I'm going to do is cut the ends of it off. And then we will take and slice the outer skin, because that's going to be going away. Then we just take it and cut it in half. Then we're just going to cut it in half rings, about quarter inch wide. There's our onion. Alrighty. Okay, the carrot, I'm going to cut off the end. What I did was half moons. I'm gonna do the same thing here. We cut, cut the carrot in half, cut it in half again. Cut. This one here is a little bit smaller, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do. And then we're just gonna make half moons. About the same thing, about a quarter of an inch thick or wide. Okay, this is a little bit thinner carrot than this was, so I'm just gonna make rings or circles out of it. It saves a little bit of time on your prep. All right, now it looks like you got all, basically most of your veggies chopped except for a few greens. Okay, next is gonna be my garlic. What I'm gonna show you with the garlic is, garlic has a skin on it, you can see it. All that, that has to come off. So I got a whole bunch in here, just put it in a jar. Okay, honey. Then you take it off. Oh, I hope it worked. Oh, I'm gonna have to bounce it a little bit more. Oh. We didn't have the music playing. Let's see what happened. Okay, there we go. See how it all come off? Oh wow. Might take a little bit of time for the other ones. You can see this one's starting to come off, but it just takes a little easier. Though, a little right? bit easier than peeling all that little skin off. And you get to burn a few calories. Exactly. And <laughs> maybe use your biceps or triceps while shaking. Okay. Right? The rest of my greens. Got them in the fridge. Okay. The the kale. I'm going to take the stem out. Don't really need to, but this makes it a little bit. And we got some of these greens from our friend Robert Ozer's yes, garden. So he shared some greens with us. And then, Georgie, you have a couple of greens from our garden, yes, too, did. don't you? Here you go. Look at that. Look at I that. I just picked beautiful them 10 minutes ago. Charred. Aren't they beautiful? Wow, they are. That's just gorgeous. beautiful. And we'll just slice this down the middle. How exciting to grow your own greens. So you're gonna yeah. throw the stem in too? Yes, for the, the stem too, sure, why not? Okay. No reason to throw it away. The dino kale, some of this has very thick, so I'll just take the big, the heavier part out. Uh-huh. You know, it does, and you can even leave it in if you want. And this doesn't have to be a particular size, shape, or color. <laughs> of course, it's green. Okay, there's our greens. So we have a mixture in there, right, Georgie? Yes, I, I have. The dino kale, the curly kale, my uh, Swiss chard, and spinach. All right. And it's about three, three to three and a half, four cups. 
And you can put whatever you want. If you don't like all of those, you can just put spinach or you can just put kale. It doesn't really matter. Okay, what we're gonna do first, next, is we're gonna put everything in the pot. I wanna let you know that we're using Trader Joe's low sodium vegetable broth. I have one cup of that. I won't tell you the ingredients because we'll be doing the, the uh, recipe at the end. Okay, I've got my sweet potatoes. Right, I'm just going to see what it looks like over the pot. Garbanzo beans. Red onions. So we're getting some good antioxidants with the red color from mm -hmm. the onions. We'll break them That's apart That's one reason there. we're using a red onion as well as a yellow, just to boost our antioxidants. Red onion, or yellow onions. Celery. My carrots, black pepper, cracked, the curry powder, the peanut butter. I want to show you, this is, we're using an organic peanut butter from Trader Joe's. It's the only ingredients are peanuts. Yay. There's and nothing there's no else added to it. either to that. So, That's yeah, you right. don't want to get peanut butter with sugar in it. That's mm -hmm. for sure. It's amazing that that's what they sell. In or added oil. Stores. You know, a lot of them have the added oils. They have oil it. and peanut butter? Oh well, my sometimes we'll really? add yucky oils. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Then we have the two cans of tomatoes. And those we got from Costco, right? Yep. Uh, Costco, yeah, Costco's yes. got a lot of good plant-based options now. One cup of coconut milk or half a can. Uh -huh. Now I'm saving the other half of the can to pour over the stew at the end if we're done. So that's it. That's yeah, all. Now we're not putting the greens in now, no, we're not. right? We're, and how we're, come, honey? They'll overcook. Okay. There'll be nothing. Well, once the stew is done, we'll open it up, put the greens in it. Stir it up a little bit and let it sit for two, three, four minutes, whatever it takes to soften the kale up, and it's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and close this up now. Oh, it's beeping. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, next, once the thing is closed, you make sure that your vent is so closed. That's this little it? thing here, it goes to the back, okay? Then you come to the front, we're gonna push bean chili. It's on high pressure. We only want six minutes. Now it takes five, 10, 15 minutes to get your, uh, your Instapot hot. It takes a while to get it hot. Now it started already. So it takes like five to 10 minutes to get it hot. Then it starts its cooking process. Once the cooking process is done, which is six minutes, we're gonna let it sit for two minutes to simmer that uh, vegetables a little bit more, and then we'll do the quick release on the steam, open it up, and put our greens. Okay, so, well, we'll see you back done, when that's ready, right? When we're yeah. ready to put in the greens. Once it's ready to put the greens in, we'll come back. All right, Georgie. All right. Oh, well, we forgot one ingredient, so I'm gonna stop the machine, which I will push cancel. It cancels everything. Okay, uh -huh. I forgot to put my garlic in. Oh. So <laughs> I was so excited to show you in the jar how it fell apart. So anyway, I use my cheese, the grater here on the little end to do my garlic. Right. It minces it at the same time. And yeah, we don't want to forget that garlic. Yeah. <laughs> it always has a great flavor, right? All right. Well, okay. that's good. So all you had to do is just shut the Instant Pot for a moment, and then you, you'll just restart it the right. same way? Right. Right. What I will do, I don't know, it's only been a couple minutes. I'll I always be safe and release pressure. There's no pressure, so right. we're good. Okay? Okay. So now we'll open it up, put our garlic in. You might want to stir it up a little bit just to mix things around. Isn't it amazing? You could just put it all in here and it's going to cook. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. All right, Gotta here we close go. Close it again. High pressure or bean and chili. High pressure for six minutes and it's going to start. All right. Okay. 
So we'll be, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. As soon as it's all ready. And there we go. It's going. <laughs> it is on. Okay, our stew has now cooked for a total of 35 minutes. That was from the time that we started with the programming and everything from start to finish. It's been 35 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to release the pressure. It has been cooking an extra two minutes after the six minutes, but a total of 35 minutes. Right, and, and we just want to reason? clarify that even though we pressed six minutes for the timer, it does take longer because right. of the pressure. It took a total of 35 minutes to do the six minutes and everything total. And then once my steam is done releasing, we'll come back and we'll add the greens and then we'll finish it up. First thing you're going to do, we're going to release the valve here. Okay, if, if the machine is off, just want to let you know, see it is off. Okay, we're going to release the steam. Nice and slow. And I always keep a handle of uh, rag handy just in case liquids come out. This is probably going to take a good two or three minutes. You can see that I was real safe about using something far away from it. And don't put your hands over it because it's very, very hot. So anyway, let's come back in a few minutes and I'll show you what we're going to do after that. Okay. Okay, it's been two minutes since the pressure has been coming out. If you want to come a little closer, Denise, you can see there's hardly any steam here. The next step is to use push the little silver button. That'll get rid of whatever else is left in there. And you can see there's nothing else coming out. That's just that's just what's built up as far as boiling water. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we are safe to open up the, the thing. All right. I don't care, I always put something on top, real nice and slow. Okay. What it looks like. Ooh. With this up here, this is where that goes. Okay, I'm gonna get a, a spoon to stir this with. Smells good. Okay, let's stir this up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my greens. Okay, this is, this is all my kale and the other ones. My spinach. Okay, now we're going to take and we're just going to stir this up and mix it. And then we're just going to let it cook in the hot uh, stew until right. it gets softened. So I mean, you, you can see it's to, already softening. You may have look. to, you know, decide how many minutes it's going to take. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to pause this little thing here. We're going to give it two minutes, and I will show you that it is going to be ready. All okay. Right. Now I'm going to put the lid back on. Just to close it up, I'm going to leave the steam open. You notice that the steam vent is still open. Okay. I don't want pressure to build up. Okay, two minutes will be two minutes. We'll be right back. All right. Okay, everyone. It's been two minutes since we did this. Make sure there's no more steam coming out. You can see that it's empty, and this is down. I'll reopen it again. Oh, look at that! Oh my goodness. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take a little bit here. Let me stir this up just a little bit. Look at that. Gorgeous. Mm. We are taking this to a potluck tonight. And this is, just to tell you, this is, we're taking this to a potluck tonight and that's why we made this special video. Denise has been doing, very patiently doing this with me. I'm gonna put just a little bit of cream on top. Denise, you wanna look at this a little bit? Just to, just to make it pretty. Look at that. A little bit of coconut milk is left over. Gorgeous. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take some really of this and great. taste it. A little bit of green. Might be a little hot. I'm sure it is. Won't take that much. It's gonna be a hit. It's gonna be I'll a hit? You, it's gonna be a hit. All right. It's a great. All right. Until next time, Denise or I are going to come back in a few minutes. I hope you enjoy this from my heart to you, okay? So doesn't that food look great in that <laughs> Instant Pot after it was cooked up? Totally. <laughs> I know. Well, we can tell you that we know this recipe is a big hit because... Yes, we do. We had to rush off to the potluck right after we finished that... Uh, 
cooking video and we're actually doing this little part uh, a couple days later because we didn't have time then. So you might notice something a little bit different like Georgie got a haircut, I got a little bang trim. So anyways, we had to rush off, but the, the, we got great feedback, feedback on the dish. Yes, it was great. Everybody loved it. So we didn't even bring any home, I don't believe. <laughs> no. It was crazy. Right. So Georgie also, you wanted to tell people also that if you don't have an Instant Pot. Yeah, you can cook this on the stove. You don't need an Instant Pot. I, you know, just throw it all in the pot. It's a one pot uh, meal. It's yeah, just it, quick and easy. And, Right, and just, again, chock full with great healthy food. So, right. we hope you like the video, and if you have not subscribed yet to Happy Vegan Couple on YouTube, we sure would love you to subscribe. And if you don't know that we're on Facebook, it's a different kind of site there that's more educational to keep you up to date on everything you want to know about whole food, plant-based lifestyle. So mm -hmm. lots of posts on Facebook. We'd love for you to subscribe there too. We love when you share comments. You know, it's really great to have the interaction. You know, we're, we sit here and do all this in our kitchen and, and hope that it's helpful for you, but it's always nice to hear a little feedback. So if you feel like it, please go ahead. Really, and we're getting close to a thousand members. That's exciting. Well, that's on Facebook. On Facebook, Yeah, yes, so we'd yes. love to get to that on YouTube, so share us with people, <laughs> right? Anyways, you all know that the video will be posted at the, uh, at the, the, re the recipes posted at the end of this video, uh -huh. and it will also be on the comments part of the YouTube page, so you can find it there, okay? Don't you have something else to tell them real quick in March? Oh, yeah. well, we're so happy. The Happy Vegan Couple, we're going to be speakers at a veg fest in Scottsdale, Arizona, the weekend of March uh, 17th, 17th and 18th. 18th. So if any of you watching live near the Phoenix area, come, come and, and watch us. us. Well, Our talk hello. is going to be the Happy Vegan Couple Guide to Whole Food Plant-Based Eating. Yes. All the <laughs> tips and strategies, and we're going to show you know some of the pictures of the wonderful food. We want everybody to know that when you eat whole food plant-based, you have a plethora of food. You are not just eating kale. Yeah. You're yeah. eating great, great food, just yeah. like this recipe. So yep. until next time, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. Take care, everybody. Go, Go plant-based. Plant -based. <laughs>